Welcome to Wire Guild. This is a skill set tutorial, so a nice little short one, and it's how to do open spirals. Um, open spirals really come with practice, and it's more a case of what you do with your hands while you're twisting them. So I've got a little short piece of wire here, it's just a piece of 20 gauge copper wire, and I've gripped it in the end of some round nose pliers and I'm just turning the end over so it's like a little hook you can go as far as it touching if you want but it doesn't really matter so you can see I've got that in my round nose pliers and I'm holding very very gently and with my right hand let me just show you here I just twist so I'm twisting my hand as if it's you know just moving around. My left hand is just gently holding the end of the wire and bringing it slowly, sorry my hands in the way, bringing it slowly the other way which makes an open spiral. So you can see that there. Let's try again. Do it again and show you because each time I show you I'll probably get a slightly different angle with the camera against my hands. So this is another piece of 0.8 but I will be using some thicker ones in a minute and grip turn the end over turn again just so you get that little hook and then my right hand twists and my left hand gently holds the wire very very gently so it can slide through my right hand is turning can you see that sort of nice curve there? I don't want to spoil that. My left hand is just moving the wire up against as my right hand twists. Gently, very gently, going nice and slow. Guiding the wire with my left hand as I twist with my right. Can you see that? Holding the end. Pull it in a bit tighter. Move it there if you're getting a um, a blobby bit but the main movement is done with my right hand twisting the pliers the left hand is purely for guidance I'm not gripping hard I am bending with the left hand at all all the movement for the spiral is coming from my right hand so you've got quite of a, a mad sort of vortexy type spiral here there we go, let's put that one down, let's try again. This is a little bit thicker. This is a, a 1mm wire or an 18 gauge. But it works exactly the same way. So, round those pliers onto the very end. And turn, turn. So you get a nice grip. Hold the end of the wire. And just gently... Look, can you see how I've lifted there? If you get a lift like that, it's always easier to correct it as soon as you see it. So flat pliers onto it and flatten it down so it's back flat. So round those pliers into the loop. My right hand, I am twisting. Left hand is gently holding the wire while the right hand produces all the movement you can see my left hand is, is hardly moving at all. So if I wanted the other end to go the other way, I would grip on the other end. Put that little curl in to start me off. And then holding well away, I am twisting with my right hand. Twist. Twist. To form a smooth curve you will find if you are curving both ways like this you'll get to a point where it doesn't want to go anymore and you see how it's touching now because it really doesn't want to go any further than that and I don't know why but it always does that you see how it's twisting in it doesn't want to bend the wire further up and I've always put it down to the fact that the other end's been twisted first so if I want to twist further I have to use the other end which is often why an S-shaped curl is bigger at one end than the other. So those are just spirals going one way and that's an S. Now I'm going to use the really thickest wire I've got which is uh, 1.6 mil or I always forget this, I think it's 16 gauge. 
and I'm going to cut a piece of this. So I'm showing you sort of the whole range. Now, exactly the same. Grip on the end, turn it, hold the end of the wire and twist with my right hand. So in that movement, twisting away from myself and just guiding the wire with my left hand. I aren't bending with my left hand at all, just the right and you get a nice curl. When the wire's as thick as this it's kind of cool because you don't need to go all the way in and touch and then it looks great just the curl if you put it against a piece of steel and give it a hammer. They look lovely. So I'll curl the other end and I'm going to try and take this end as tight as I can get. Sorry, went out of shot. Straighten that up a bit. And curl in. Right hand's twisting. Left, well watch the left hand. Left hand's doing nothing. Turn that in a little further. Straighten it up. And you could have like a funny little question mark. Or I can take it further. Holding with my left hand so that it doesn't really move. Now because I want a tighter one, I can go over both wires and twist, like that. Or you could use a flat pliers over the top to create like a spiral. If you want the wire inside to be a bit... There you see that's quite tight, but if you want the wires inside to be a bit looser, you can go back in with the round nose pliers. I'm just opening that out slightly. Yeah. It's separated that inner loop, which I can then grip and just nip up a bit tighter. There we go. Question mark. Spirals. Lots of practice. And try with a different bit. Try with scraps of wire. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Happy spiral wrapping.